Okay, today we're gonna try Tesla's actually smart summon at a local Ikea. We've been doing some pretty extensive testing in a variety of parking lots, including Costco, but I wanted to see how well the system would work in a covered parking garage. The Ikea I'm at right now has a multi-level parking and I'm on the lower level. All right, so let's get started here. Now take a look here on the uh, map on the right. The triangle is where my Tesla is right now. The blue dot is where I'm standing. And look at the target marker right there. That's where I want my Tesla to go. I think even though the map you're seeing is the upper level of the parking garage, as long as Tesla can detect where that target marker is, it should be able to work. So let's get started. As you can see, we start smoothly moving out of our parking spot there. And look at the positioning of where the car is right now. It's on the left side, and the reason why it's doing that is because we have those two pedestrians who are slowly walking around the right side. So Smart Summon is doing the right thing and going slowly around them right now. Now let's see what happens when they get to the end of this row. We'll see if the car moves over, and just like that, you can see uh, my Tesla moves over. And just in a nick of time, look, we've got another car that's doing a tight turn in here and it's making its turn. Now please note that I have my finger down on my app right now pushing the car to go forward but as you can see it will stop when it sees pedestrians or it sees that other vehicle there so it's doing a good job with that. Now what I wanted to do was to take this car all the way up to that yellow entrance at the front but because of the limitations the distance limitations right now for Smart Summon this is pretty much as far as I can take it but as you can see it did a very good job no issues there with that pedestrian she's wondering what the heck is going on there with the driverless car but uh, I'd give that a 10 out of 10 great job with that now for testing purposes we're gonna try this in a fully underground parking lot I'm about two levels down at a local mall here as well I'm gonna try to activate the smart summon but as you can see on my app there on the right you can see the triangle where my um, vehicle is located I'm about a hundred feet away but uh, the target marker is not moving towards me at all I can't move it at all so uh, we'll activate the smart summon but uh, we'll see how long it takes before it disengages because it's really just detecting that it's reaching its target location take a look there on and you can see yeah my car's coming to a stop right there and it's going to turn off so yeah i mean if you've been able to do this in an underground lot please let me know in the comments i'm going to keep trying to see if i can get it to activate in multi-level lots and multi-level underground lots to see if we can get that to work and if you'd like to see a demonstration of the full capabilities of Tesla's full self-driving, check the link above and see one of my recent downtown drives where FSD has to dodge all forms of traffic. You take care and I'll see you on the roads.